This style of music is actually bringing me back. I'm getting nostalgic from the time when I was uh, like freshman or sophomore in music college. Welcome back to another installment of Music Producer Reacts. I'm String Player Gamer. For this episode, we'll continue listening to some more music from Deep Rock Galactic. Let's go. Fathomless Tomb. This is nine minutes long. Okay, let's check it out. Okay, oh my god. First off, this style of music is actually bringing me back. I'm getting nostalgic from the time when I was uh, like freshman or sophomore in music college. And my dad, he finally bought me one of my longtime requests, a Korg X3 keyboard synthesizer. And all of these keyboard patch presets, they sound like this. And so this brings me back to when I was just like experimenting with all the presets, arranging on the spot, making songs as I play along. This is what an SPG arrangement or composition from 1998 would sound like. And yeah, it's very ambient, very synth heavy atmosphere. I like that passage. It sounds like a, a low sounding synthesized dwarf bass voice. Reminiscent of the bass singing from the dwarves in the Hobbit movies, but in a cyberpunk setting.
Yeah, you know, in a way, this feels very improvisatory in the sense that from the beginning up until this part that we've listened to, it's so unpredictable what is happening, what is going on next. It's as if the composer is writing it in a very stream of consciousness way. Like, okay, I'm going to write this first four bars like this. Oh, what about a new patch for this? What about a new synth sound for this next bar? So it's like as the measures go along, he is putting out random musical ideas. Whatever next musical idea that comes out, okay, let's put that in, let's put that in. But also, impressively, they're still staying in a one tonal center. I'm always on the lookout for rockin' video game soundtracks to react to. Suggest some. There's a little hint of the Metroid title theme right there. Dun, dun, dun. It definitely feels space-like, especially those majestic sounding synth pads. They're, they're like flangy and evolving, but at the same time, those blips kind of sound like radio or radar signals from a space vessel just that is just like freely floating the boundless expanse of outer space and at the same time while they are voyaging they are passing by these gigantic star formations nebulas of bizarre shapes and sizes and i'm imagining all this imagery right now while listening to this Wow. All these lingering choral sounding synth pads ringing in your ear. Lots of lingering chords, harmonies that sometimes clash. And all those overtone sounding 
single lines, like single treble lines. Na, 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 na. It all forms together this musical structure of something expansive, but a little bit melancholic, mysterious, all at the same time, maintaining that minor chord key, but at the same time employing like a really tall harmonic structure, like from the basses to the trebles. It's like this one tall skyscraper of a harmonic structure. It's got this huge range of notes. So immediately that contributes to the, this large feeling. But also because it's so floaty, rhythmless, almost structureless, it leaves you with this feeling of being lost floating into nothingness. And as they say, outer space can be like that. And we've seen it portrayed in, in movies, in games. Space is just a vast emptiness, also full of mystery, full of wonder, full of danger. So yeah, this music right here is a very effective artistic representation of that feeling. And if you're looking for your favorite songs from the Deep Rock Galactic soundtrack, I might have already featured them on a previous episode. Check it out here. <laughs> 